Before I start this video, I have to give a massive shout out to Carson Metaxas from 3D Joes for giving me permission to use some of the imagery from his amazing website. Carson is a stand-up dude and a real pillar of the G.I. Joe collecting community. And this video would not have been possible without his kind generosity. So thank you very much, Carson. I'll leave a link to the 3D Joe's website in the description below. I have often mentioned that the Hasbro G.I. Joe A Real American Hero toy line was one of the best action figure lines to come out of the 80s. And one of the main reasons this toy line was elevated so far above its competitors was due to the addition of G.I. Joe's scheming enemy, Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. As depicted in Larry Harmer's comics and the Sumbo animated cartoon, Cobra is a paramilitary organization led by the evil Cobra Commander, and the group serves as the longtime nemesis to G.I. Joe, America's daring, highly trained special mission force. When the G.I. Joe toy line was relaunched in 1982, Hasbro wanted to provide kids with a backstory to the characters, so they enlisted the help of Marvel Comics, who quickly identified the need for G.I. Joe to have an adversary. When Marvel first proposed the concept, Hasbro was reluctant to make toys of the villains, for fear that they would not sell. Hasbro need not have worried though. Not only did Cobra have one of the greatest toy logos ever designed, but they later contributed to 40% of all G.I. Joe toy sales, with many of the best action figures in the line actually being members of Cobra. So in honour of one of the best and most villainous action figure toy lines ever created, Analog Toys has joined Cobra Convergence 4, where we will count down the top 10 best Cobra action figures. Hello Cobra fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now I have to admit that this is one of the hardest top 10 lists that we've ever had to put together because there are simply so many great Cobra action figures to choose from. If I went with my childhood favourites then this entire list would comprise of action figures from either 1984 or 1985, but I've tried to diversify the list and choose a few figures from different eras. I'm sure some of you will disagree with our list, but for what it's worth, here is what we consider to be the 10 best Cobra action figures of all time. And kicking us off in the number 10 slot is the robotic Cobra Trooper, the BAT. The BAT acronym stands for Battle Android Trooper, and this action figure was first introduced to the G.I. Joe toy line in 1986. Bats are the perfect Cobra Trooper. They never question orders, shirk duty, or surrender. Cobra infantrymen don't like to be on the same battlefield with bats because they don't easily discriminate between targets. The bat action figure is moulded in black plastic and is finished off with yellow and silver painted accents. The helmet has a mirrored face shield similar to version 1 Cobra Commander, and the figure features a lenticular chest panel that looks simply awesome. Another cool feature of the bat action figure is the four interchangeable arm attachments. And when a bat has the claw accessory fitted near his elbow, the other devices can be stored away in the black backpack. Bats are really nothing more than cannon fodder for G.I. Joe, but when they look as cool as this, who wouldn't want to add a few of the figures to their Cobra collection? What are those things? They look like robots! Taking the number 9 slot on this list is the second version of Cobra's leader, hooded Cobra Commander. According to his file card, Cobra Commander is hatred and evil personified, corrupt, a man without scruples, and probably the most dangerous man alive. This action figure version of Cobra's fanatical leader was never available on the standard G.I. Joe card back. He was instead only available through a mail-away scheme offered by Hasbro in 1984 and 1985. The figure has been designed with a very regal looking uniform that is moulded in deep blue plastic with touches of gold. Hooded Cobra Commander is armed with a black laser pistol which can be holstered on the back of his torso. When I was a child, I remember collecting the flag points available on other G.I. Joe products 
and sending away for Hooded Cobra Commander in the mail. When I received this figure in the post when I was about eight years old, he felt so very special because it was a figure that you could not simply walk into a toy shop and purchase. The figure felt like a true exclusive and I was honoured to add him to my Cobra collection. When selecting the different entries for this list, I almost chose Cobra Commander version 1 for this slot, but since Cobra Convergence 4 has been created by Hooded Cobra Commander 788, I just had to go with the hooded incarnation of this sly snake. Imbeciles! Why are great men always surrounded by lesser beings? Number 8 on the list of the best Cobra action figures is another faceless Cobra Trooper, the Viper. Vipers are the backbone of the Cobra Legions. They are highly trained and formidably equipped, and it is said that if you want to get anywhere in the Cobra organisation, you have to start out as a Viper. Released in 1986, this action figure represents the upgraded Cobra Infantryman, a role first performed by the standard Cobra Trooper. The figure wears a blue uniform with red highlights, and Vipers are equipped with armoured helmets and vests that can mask heat signatures. Vipers also carry a standard issue Cobra Infantry backpack, and they are armed with a light grey RDT-7 assault rifle that is fitted with a telescopic sight and has a grenade launcher mounted below the barrel. The Viper action figure is beautifully designed and the overall look, which includes the famous Cobra logo on the chest, fits perfectly with the motif of the Cobra forces. Coming in at number 7 is the only action figure on the list to come packaged with a vehicle, the Master of Disguise, Zartan. Zartan is a favoured character among many Cobra fans. A master of makeup and disguise, the mysterious Zartan also serves as the leader of the Dreadnoughts, the renegade biker mercenaries who are in Cobra's employ. The first issue file card for Zartan stated that he was an extreme paranoid schizophrenic with multiple personalities. However, after receiving a complaint from the Mental Health Association of Indiana, citing that the description reinforced public misconceptions that all mentally ill people are hostile and violent, Hasbro altered the file card. The Zartan action figure comes in a small box with his Chameleon Swamp Skier vehicle, and the figure is accessorised with a laser pistol, several pieces of removable armour, a backpack and a face disguise. The coolest aspect of this figure is his ability to change colour in sunlight, and this play feature gave me hours and hours of fun when I was a child. Zartan is an awesome character and an even better action figure, and he ranked as the must-have Cobra toy back in 1984. Eight last words. Coming in at number 6 on our list is the leader of the Red Shadows, Baron Ironblood. For those of you who don't consider Baron Ironblood to be a member of Cobra, then you need to read the Battle Action Force comic storyline entitled World Enemy No. 1. In the comic, Baron Ironblood betrays the Red Shadows, leaving them to die and going into hiding. When he re-emerged, he had organised a new group called Cobra and renamed himself as Cobra Commander. Palatoy was the British company that designed and sold Action Force toys in the UK, but after 1984, their design department was closed and the company began importing more and more Hasbro G.I. Joe product. This comic storyline was introduced to children to explain away the departure of the Red Shadows and the introduction of Cobra into the toy line in 1985. Although the Baron Ironblood figure lacks the articulation of the Hasbro made G.I. Joe figures, I love him because he has such an iconic outfit. Wearing a mostly white uniform which is adorned with a V-shaped red chest panel that features the skull and crossbone symbol, the Baron stands out from the rest of the Red Shadows army. Baron Ironblood is also accessorised with an Uzi submachine gun, the same one that came with Snake Eyes. But best of all is his Ned Kelly styled helmet and the design of this action figure accessory is truly unique. The latest attacks led by Baron Ironblood and his evil forces, seen here in exclusive coverage, have forced the country to take action. Taking the number five slot is a figure that I never had when I was a child, the Cobra Hydra Viper. According to the file card, Hydro Vipers are qualified Cobra frogmen who volunteer to be surgically altered to withstand nitrogen narcosis and other effects of deep sea diving and the long-term effects of these surgical procedures is known to be psychologically destabilising. And then we have one of the most hilarious file card quotes ever. I'm sorry, those guys just aren't human anymore. They have a handshake like a dead mackerel, and they leave damp spots on all the furniture. To be perfectly honest, I was never aware of this figure until very recently when I saw it in a video from the YouTube channel, The Full Force Podcast, and I was instantly transfixed. 
The design of the figure's face mask is reminiscent of the Predator, and his accessories are just amazing. The Hydra Viper comes with a diving knife that is shaped like a lightning bolt, a harpoon gun, diving fins, and oxygen tanks. But by far the best accessory is his aquatic cohort, the Devil Ray. While the Hydro Viper may be nothing more than a background character in the G.I. Joe universe, the overall look of this action figure is fantastic, and I'm really disappointed I didn't know about the figure sooner, because I really feel like I've been missing out. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Cobra's got the right materials. Cobra's got the perfect place. Cobra Launch Base. Cobra Launch Base. Cobra's got a threat more evil than G.I. Joe has ever faced. Cobra Launch Base. Back to mind bender. We're ready for the go. Launch the fireman. G.I. Joe won't know what, what hit them. G.I. Joe. Will the Cobra launch base be the beginning of the end for G.I. Joe? Find out in Marvel Comics. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Coming in at number four is the only female character to make the list, the Baroness. The spoiled offspring of wealthy European aristocrats, the Baroness graduated from student radicalism into international terrorism and finally into the ranks of Cobra. The Baroness serves as Cobra's intelligence officer, and her secondary military specialty is that of a fixed-wing pilot, and she is often seen flying the Cobra Rattler. Hasbro's R&D figure designer Ron Rudat developed the look of the Baroness action figure. The figure wears a tight leather outfit which is adorned with plate armour panels, and this uniform sports the Cobra logo in the centre of the chest. Although the character was not part of the initial G.I. Joe toy release in 1982, she did appear in G.I. Joe issue number one, issued by Marvel Comics in 1982, and was in fact the first character to cross over from the comics into the Sumbo animated cartoon, and finally into the toy line. The figure is accessorised with a laser rifle and a black backpack, and when she's all geared up, the Baroness certainly doesn't look like a woman that you want to mess with. Bye bye, Birdie! As we get closer to the top slot, the number three entry is a figure that I was never able to find when I was a child. The Cobra Ninja, Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow is a favourite character among many a G.I. Joe fan, and he is best known as Cobra Commander's ninja bodyguard, and for his complex history with fellow G.I. Joe ninja, Snake Eyes. Storm Shadow is a former member of the Arashikagi ninja clan, and is also one of the most prominent characters in the G.I. Joe A Real American Hero franchise, having appeared in every series since its inception. The action figure has been designed with his trademark white ninja outfit, which features a black cross belt and the Cobra logo is worn on the left of his chest. He is also equipped with a ton of weapon accessories. Although this figure ranks very high on our list, I'm sure some of you will be surprised he didn't rank even higher. I bet some of you even had him ranked at number one, and as cool as this figure is, I feel he is let down by his head sculpt, which could have been so much better. I actually believe that Storm Shadow version 2 is a far better action figure, and I love the addition of the Arashikagi clan tattoo on his forearm, but unfortunately, by this stage in the G.I. Joe mythology, Storm Shadow had defected and become a member of the G.I. Joe team, so he didn't qualify for this list. As you command, Storm Shadow. Taking the number two slot on this list is another example of a Cobra Troop Builder figure, the Cobra Frogman, the Eels. The Eels are the underwater demolition experts of the Cobra Legions, and I have been absolutely in love with Eels since I first saw them on the cover of Action Force Weekly issue number two, which I consider to be the best cover of all the Action Force Weekly comics. Cobra eels are accessorised with an oxygen supply backpack, which includes a detachable jetpack on the bottom. They are also equipped with flippers and a harpoon gun. The figure's outfit is coloured in dark grey with touches of black and a red chest panel that is emblazoned with a silver Cobra logo, and the overall look is simply stunning. I cannot even begin to describe how much I love the look of this figure. It's amazing and when I was a child, the eel was certainly my favourite Cobra figure. When drawing up this list, I came very close to giving this spot to the Cobra Snow Serpent, so we have to give this figure an honourable mention. Again, I love the design of this figure, but my favourite thing about the Snow Serpent is their multitude of accessories. The AK rifle, the snowshoes, the parachute pack, backpack, and finally, the anti-tank missile with removable stand. Uh -oh, listen up guys, a trio of sea snakes are swimming your way. As always, before we reveal our top pick, we like to announce who we think is the worst figure of all time, 
And even though there are many great Cobra figures to choose from, there are countless bad ones. So we decided to shirk our responsibilities a little bit here and give this job to Chris, worst action figure picker in the business, McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80, from the Full Force podcast. Hi there, I'm Chris McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80, from the Full Force podcast, Talking Joe's podcast, and Diagnostic 80's reviews. I've been tasked by Tony from Analog Toys to jump on his top 10 Cobras, but throw in a little curveball with my least favourite Cobra figure of all time. Now I'm probably going to lose a few friends here, but let's get stuck in, shall we? Now the hardest thing I had with this particular task was the fact that I don't really dislike many Cobra or G.I. Joe figures, especially from the 82 to 94. It really just leaves a few figures that stick out in my memory as figures that I wasn't that keen on. So let's get right to it, shall we? It's Cobra Commander version 4. Now this particular version of Cobra Commander didn't really upset me until I saw the figure itself. The card art is pretty cool. He has an interesting deco and quite a large accessory loadout. My main issue with this particular action figure were the proportions. If you look at the figure face on, it's all over the place. The hips stick out really wide, it's got a tight tucked in tummy, and the upper torso is a little large for the actual body. Even though the deco is interesting, I'm not a massive fan of how the colours work together. Giving him a bright red face mask also kind of pushes it towards the ceremonial side of things, not really practical battle armour. I did enjoy a lot of the Cobra Commander upgrades over the years, but this one just was a miss for me. And the funny thing is, I don't even dislike this figure that much, it's just that Tony forced me to do this for his video. Starting from the top and working our way down on this figure, let's look at that helmet. The texturised part on the top of the helmet looks cool, and the gold really pops, but that red face mask sticks out so much that I can't really see the two colours going together very well, especially when you add the blue and the black underneath on the body. The huge Cobra sigil, which looks like it's printed on a coin and stuck directly in the middle of the body, is a little bit garish. The hips protrude far too much for me and it looks a little out of proportion. He did have some neat accessories though, including a gold machine gun, figure stand and an incredible launcher with bipod with a glider. There are two variations to this figure, one has clearly painted eyes and eyebrows underneath the red mask, while the other figure's eyebrows are not visible. Even though the mask is glued to the helmet, you can take it off with some elbow grease and more than likely damage to the red face mask. Underneath, you can get a good look at his face, which is actually a cute touch homage by the Rise of Cobra design in 2009. The likeness of the face was based on a Hasbro employee by the name of Bill Young. It's hard to believe that this is Cobra Commander's real visage, and based on a video by Hooded Cobra Commander 788, he mentions he believes the features were exaggerated in order for them to be seen under the mask. And I'm inclined to go with that idea. I would be remiss not to mention the Fun School version just to get that amazing card art flashed up there. And we got the figure in the UK and Europe with a more orange face mask. Unfortunately for this version of Cobra Commander, he didn't make it to the cartoon, but he did appear in the live action commercials in the 90s and in the comics around the same time. After all said and done, there's a lot to really enjoy about this figure. Unfortunately, it just doesn't do it for me visually and that's why it's ended up in this position today on this list of one figure. Anyway, back to Analog Tony. And so coming in at number one is the all-time greatest Cobra action figure ever made, the saboteur Firefly. Firefly is a mysterious Cobra character that is absolutely badass. He's the Snake Pliskin of the Cobra forces, and even wears a similar colour camouflage pattern on his combat pants. The action figure is covered from head to toe in dark camos, with only his eyes exposed and a Cobra logo worn on his right bicep. Firefly comes with a grey backpack that has a removable cover, and this accessory is loaded with miniature details representing all of his demolitions equipment and tooling. The figure also comes with the easily lost and hard to find walkie talkie, as well as his submachine gun. I'm not sure why Hasbro decided to mould these two accessories in green plastic. I think they would have looked so much better had they been moulded in the same colour as the backpack. In fact, when I was a kid, I used to arm Firefly with a snow serpent rifle because it made an already awesome figure look that much better. This figure is super cool with an awesome level dialed up to 11, and in my humble opinion, Firefly is the best Cobra action figure ever made, thoroughly deserving of the number one slot on this list. So that's our top 10 best Cobra action figures. Did you agree with our list? Please leave us a comment in the section below. And before I sign off, I have to give a massive shout out to Hooded Cobra Commander 788 for organizing Cobra Convergence 4. And thank you so much for inviting us to be a part of this momentous occasion. 
What you do for the G.I. Joe collecting community is just tremendous, and I want to personally thank you for bringing together so many amazing content creators for Cobra Convergence 4. Be sure to check out all the other Cobra themed content coming out this month, including tomorrow's contribution that comes from my friends at the Full Force podcast, where they will be discussing the World Enemy Number 1 comic storyline, so be sure to check that out. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, thank you all for watching, and yo Joe, um, I mean, retreat! Mm -hmm.